Hi everyone, um, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Matomo Analytics with Google Looker. I got this idea of this video after discussing with uh, the creator of uh, VU1, which is a paid connector for uh, Google Looker, which allows you to easily discuss with the Matomo API in order to be able to um, use data of Matomo within uh, Google Data Studio. And in fact, its creator uh, named Michael Weber informed me that there was some templates uh, which were already available, which is uh, useful resources for people like me who are not good at all in terms of design. Uh, so over here on its website, uh, view.1 reporting templates, uh, you are getting some templates that you can easily use within uh, uh, Google Looker. And I was really interested into making this map as I didn't know it would have been possible. In fact, it is kind of straightforward. And this video is about explaining you uh, how, I, um, how I did it. Uh, so in fact, uh, the most important thing is that uh, you have over here a link that you can click on, which is going to give you a template. But the template in itself is not going to help you much because it cannot work out if you are not creating the data sources first. So uh, once you get it, so those are, are not your data, you need to click over here and make a copy. And if you do so, they're gonna ask you about, okay, but which data source uh, do you need to use? So before going straight uh, in copying it, what you need to do uh, first is, what Michael told me is that you need to create first your data sources. In order to create your data sources, of course, you need to be a VU.1 users and um, let's say get your, uh, your credential up and running, which is uh, what you can see over, mm -hmm, over here. Okay, that's, uh, that's the place on which you can indicate which instance you want to use. And once uh, you do so, then uh, you can uh, go within a, a looker what I'm doing now. And then uh, you can click on create, you create a data source. Then what is super important over here is the name that you're gonna give to your data source. Why? Because if not, that's a mess uh, to find it back. So here you select uh, the connector, so the VU1 for Matomo Analytics. Then you give a name which is explicit. So in my case, it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna make a test about France. That's a France. I'm selecting uh, my instance, so that's uh, the, the connector. Then uh, you select the website that you would like to insert the data for. So in my case, I'm using here the demo uh, Matomo site. Then you click on uh, next. Then uh, what I will be super interesting into is to see if we can easily get the visits uh, from France. Um, so I select the report, in my case it's going to be uh, country. So country. Then I'm wondering if one can um, filter it, dimension search filter. I'd like to filter it on France. Okay, and let's see if that's going to work out. Okay, so here in your case, that's not going to be friends for you, that's going to be countries. Okay, then your data source is created. So as a result, when you click on the preview report over here, when you click over here on uh, make a copy, you can use, in fact, each of the data source uh, that you created. So for example, here in my case, I created one for the main metrics, one for the channel type, one for the action page URL, one for countries, and so on and so forth. So I went uh, like this. I selected the data sources that I created. Okay, countries. I select um, countries. And over here, I'm gonna select uh, device type. Where is device type? Okay. And then you copy your report. So it's gonna create automatically uh, your report. In my case, based with the 
uh, demo metamo data. I'm probably going to take something which is more, um, um, let's say, less than this. I'm just going to take like uh, uh, last week. Okay. Last week, I apply. Okay, so week uh, from the 27th to the 5th of March. So last week, 27th. Okay, so those are the data that I should see within my tomo. So this number of visits, uh, this number of page views. Um, oops. And what do I have over here? Um, that's not the one that I wanted. Uh, that's the one I wanted. Okay, so this is the number of page view. Number of page view is this one, so 20,000 something. So this one is correct. Uh, unique page views, this one is correct too. Uh, downloads, this one is correct. Okay, so those. Uh, those four are correct. Um, this is the visit and review over time. Well, this one, I, I may struggle in order to find this one. So let's find visits by channel. Uh, visit by channels Doo -doo -doo. is over here. Visit by channel. So 49 something, 49 something, 21, 8. 21.8. So this one looks correct. Uh, when it comes to country, for some reason, is not taking it up properly. So you need to go over here and select uh, countries. You put it here. And then uh, you get uh, your countries fine. Okay. Uh, so for example, here, uh, France, Russia, so 81 and 300. 70. Time for it to load. But that should be uh, all right. Okay, I'm the lucky guy here because the connection cut. Um, and uh, well, anyway, that should be all right. Um, when the internet connection will be back. I will as well give it a try to add uh, the new data source that I added, which was um, uh, the country France. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Oops, waiting for the data to come back. So let's set France. And then I can go over here, add um, the chart. That could be. Uh, Ah, over here, okay. Then I can select the data source, which will be in my case, add data, which will be my data source. The friends. France, I edit. Okay, unfortunately, it's a bit slow, but I guess uh, it's going to work out. So, so far, what we can see is that uh, it, it works. So, Add, okay, all good. So here it said that the chart is incomplete uh, setup uh, in very dimension, and probably that's because it needs to get the country. So I'm just gonna, uh, so I want visits and I want uh, the country. Please, user. Uh, Hmm. Okay, strangely. Uh, 
Okay, so currently I cannot, I cannot see it. So probably I need to investigate it. Ah, because I'm on uh, type of data, add data. My data source. Sorry, I'm doing back the same thing. Okay, it's getting too slow, sorry. Um, and that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, so the possibility for you to be able to easily uh, change the data, request whatever you want, and still have a lovely template. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.